Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do an unboxing of this new bike lock that I got from uh, Britain. And it's the Light Lock X1. And uh, so it came in DHL. Uh, you have to pay for shipping. I think it was, to ship just the lock was $14. But if you want any accessories, they charge you like 25 or 30 for the shipping. It took a while to come in. It took like about 14 days to come in, maybe longer than that actually. So uh, let's do the unboxing right now, and then we'll talk about the lock. So this is supposed to be one of the best bike locks slash motorcycle locks on the market. It was recommended to me by some other YouTubers, and let me get a let me get something to open this real quick. So it comes in a pretty nice box. Oh, that's pretty nice. So this lock runs about $175. It came with a little pamphlet talking about the lock, which is pretty nice. And then, put this out of the way. And then this is the lock itself. I didn't buy the mounting kit. There's a kit that you could, it's not a mounting kit. There's a kit that I think you could hook up on your pants and it carry it on your belt. This is a pretty hefty lock. Let's see what else it came with. So here are the keys that it came with. So these are pretty cool keys. These are similar to, well, I was gonna say similar to, the, to newer car keys, but they're not. They have their own distinction on here. And there, there's a serial number on there. And then, uh, this thing go mount. Oh yeah, it did come with a mount actually. Okay, so it did come with a with its own mount. I honestly don't even remember if I purchased this separate or it comes with it. I'll have to I'll put it back in the comments on the on the explanation of the video at the end. But anyways. So this is a really, it's not too heavy. This lock's actually lighter than my Kryptonite New York lock. Uh, and it feels pretty sturdy. So it's got auto rotation on the frame feature. And then it's got a soft plant-based uh, rubber on here. Econo rubber for you green people. <laughs> and it's got a reflective stripe. So these stripes reflect... When you're riding your bike, if you mount it on your bike, though, there's more visibility. It's got it on both sides, and I believe even the Light Lock brand has it. Um, so it's got the keyhole cover, which is pretty cool. You don't have to slide it. So on the Kryptonite, on the Kryptonite, you have to slide it open and closed. This is rubber, so you just literally stick the key in there, and then it closes by itself, kind of like a grommet. Uh, it's certified uh, for the secure. It's I think it's called. Uh, it's certified secure bicycle diamond and motorcycle diamond. So this actually is certified for motorcycle and uh, bicycles, and it's made in Britain. So this is a super high quality lock, as you could see. There's a lot of videos on this lock where they cut it with the uh, with the with an angle grinder. So I guess that's that's pretty much. I don't know if it's the new way, but it's the way that people are are cutting locks now. They're they're bringing an angle grinder with them, a battery operated angle grinder, like a Milwaukee or whatever. Uh, Makita, and then they're just cutting locks away. The videos I've seen, you guys could do the research. Uh, they're uh, they're bringing a little portable cutter, and they're cutting locks in like ten seconds or less. Like even the uh, even though I bought the uh, Kryptonite New York, I saw that lock that lock cut in thirteen seconds with an angle grinder. This one right here, on the one video, it took them like thirty minutes, and they had to change like five blades or something like that. And there's another video where they used only diamond blades. And they cut the lock, I think, in 10 minutes, but they went through like two or three diamond, I think three diamond blades. So this is, I got this because I got the Rev 1. And, you know, e-bikes are very expensive and they're a little bit harder to lock up, you know, more of a challenge. But this is a great lock for this kind of stuff. I recommend, what do they say? I think they say spend 10% or 15% of, uh, of your bike money on a good lock. Uh, so there's a lot of locks on the market, but this is actually one of the best ones. That's why I got it. A lot of people recommended this lock. So, um, I'll, sh I'll do a video once I start doing the ride reviews and I'll, I'll do a video on how to use this lock, which is pretty easy. 
And uh, and if you guys have any questions or com or comments, just put it down in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next video.